What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense of Buster coming at you with another video. And in this video, we got some great news to talk about today. I was 12 for 12 last week in the Forex market. And I'm going to explain to you step by step how I did that. Because I was texting Donahue during the week and laughing. And telling him, trade 6, win. Trade 7, win. Trade 9, win. And he's going, how are you doing it, CSI? And I said, it's very, very simple. I'm not an ostrich, all right? And what I mean by ostrich is traders who trade according to supply and demand zones, for example, all right? Like these two clowns. These two clowns are ostriches. What does that mean? It means that they admit that manipulation exists. But they stick their head in the grounds knowing Ken Griffin controls the price of that stock. All right? But they want to believe and teach people supply and demand zones. How ridiculous can you be? If being involved in the meme stock plays have taught us anything, people, the law of supply and demand does not exist anymore. Why? Because they use dark pools to send retail orders that they don't want going to the lit exchange to a dark pool. And that artificially inflates or deflates the supply and demand. Well, that's just conspiracy theory, CSI, really? Well, what about right here then, where it says to settle the SEC charges, Miami-based Citadel Securities agreed to pay a $7 million penalty for what? For five year period, they estimated that Citadel Securities incorrectly marked millions of orders inaccurately, denoting that certain short sales were long sales and vice versa. So, if they incorrectly marked tens of millions of orders, some that were supposed to be long were said short and shorts were long, that affected the supply and demand numbers and so tell me again how you can draw an accurate box that tells me that I should buy down here and sell up there. That's ridiculous trading. You cannot believe in supply and demand trading if you understand that they mismark orders however they feel and they use dark pools and every other means to get rid of volume which distorts the actual supply and demand of the stocks. Y'all know, I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm going to come and tell you the truth, that the supply and demand strategy does not work. Now, I'm going to mention one more thing that these two ostriches like to say on their videos. is a couple of weeks ago, they were bragging about how Mediocre made $10,000 on one trade. And boy, they were excited about that and they talked about it for two weeks, all right? But as I looked deeper into the trade, I realized that he was using an account that had $110,000 in it, at least. Because that's how much he would have needed to write those cash secured puts, all right? And the average investor does not have a $110,000 account that they can trade in and hope to make $10,000. They have small accounts like $200, $300, $500, which is what I'm trying to work with. Now, let's go back to my portfolio because I hid the numbers here in the beginning of the video so, so that we could talk about it and it wasn't as much of a shock to y'all because like I say, I'm going to bring the truth and I'm going to bring the receipts. All right, and here are the numbers. I started the week off with $233.20 in the account, and I had 12 consecutive wins. But I only made $0.38, cents, $0.67, cents, $1.31, cents, $0.66. One of them down here was really good, which was $8.57. I'm trying to figure out exactly what caused that so I can get those kind of gains again, but you're going to see these numbers and think how ridiculously low they are, but and you're going to notice that I had an average of $1.07 per trade, all right, last week, 
Now let's take a couple things into consideration. That's with a $230 account. Now what if it would have been a $2,300 account? Then I would have been making $10 per transaction. What if it would have been a $20,000 account? Well then I would have been making $100 on every trade. If I have $20,000 in this account, and if I have $100,000 in this account, I will be making $500 per trade. So if I had the kind of money to fuck around with like these two idiots do, and they came about a $10,000 trade, I can average that per trade with a with a $100,000 account with the way that I do it. But I have to start at the bottom and work my way up and I have to prove to myself and everybody else that you can start with a small account. You have to have realistic expectations of how much each trade will bring so you don't get caught up expecting a $5,000 return. And you know damn well, according to the PIP calculator here that I've got set up and I showed y'all in another video and told y'all this would be a good thing to screenshot. This gives you a realistic expectation of your lot sizes and how many PIPs. If I have .05 lots and it goes up 10 PIPs, I know that I can average around $5. That's where I'm trying to get right now. If I could get to the point where I'm making $5 a trade instead of just a dollar a trade, or I move on up the line here to where I can eventually do one whole standard lot, and I'm only get, wanting five pips, I'm going to be knocking their asses off. But if you start small, you have to realize you're going to have small profits until you get to the bigger numbers as well. So... Don't fall for these idiots bullshit when they try to tell you proven strategies that do not work is the way you should trade. These are also the same people who was telling you to write covered calls with your AMC and GMEs and now they're talking about depth threats because people's shit got called away. Yeah. So with that, love y'all. Be blessed. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to know the truth about investing. See you in the next video. Be blessed.